name is Ivy. My name is Aiden. Today we are going to do an experiment. Oil and water experiment with food coloring. Zayden, what do we have here? So we have food coloring. We also have this knife to stir. And we have some oil and water. Zayden, you know what's the first step? The first step is to put a drop of every food coloring in the oil. Okay, let's start. I want to see my thing. This one looks cool. Okay, Zayden. Now we have to dump. Now we have to dump the oil and the food coloring right. No, in I here. think we should mix it first. Okay. I want to get the food color. Whoa! It looks like a hurricane. <gasps> I think there's too much oh. black in there. There's too much no, blackish that's, color. That's nice. It's not too much black. You guys need to see. I'm just going to get that. And pour it in. Be the Look. Looks so cool. Oh, wow. What do you think? Yes. I'm going to touch some colors. Yeah. <laughs> Looks. Wait, if you. Wait, don't if touch you, it. Don't touch it. Don't if you mix it. it, the colors move. <laughs> wow. Oh. Awesome. The blue and yellow just exploded and made green. The blue and yellow looks good. It looks great. Food coloring is water-based and it doesn't dissolve oil. But if you mix them together, you will see a lot of tiny droplets of food coloring stuck in oil. However, food coloring is denser than oil and bit by Bit droplets will submerge to the bottom of the oil layer where they meet water and start coloring it. Have fun! So you see the golden bit? That is the oil. And that water is mixed with black food coloring. So imagine that those tiny dots can be a village and those little, little micro dots can be people. So imagine that in my creation and in my imagination. So I'm going to end this video right here. I hope you try it out. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video, inshallah. Bye!